Okay, so again, this is uh, TNT Sunrise. Uh, my name is Jack, okay? You can call me Jack or call me TNT, okay? So currently I'm uh, the top author in TradingView, right? okay, as you can see, and I have been published for uh, 1,666, okay? 1,666 ideas in trading views, okay? And uh, 5.67 million people have viewed my charts, okay? It's all here, it's all here, okay? So I have been doing this uh, webinar uh, in a weekly basis for almost one, one year, okay? Almost one year, all right? So in the YouTube, you can search Project, okay? And you can come to my channel, right? So in, in this channel, there's already uh, a lot of uh, the webinars uh, recordings here, okay? So every time uh, when I publish a webinar, I will put the recording into the YouTube, okay? So you can see the very, very first one, okay? Project first webinar, which is 2016-0518, okay? May 18th, now it's June 19th, so it's, one year and one month celebration for my channel in Project, okay? And these are my colleagues, okay, uh, in China, okay? And they come from Wall Street, they come from England, all right? It's all good traders and good mentors, right? So I'm doing this for free at this uh, webinar because I feel that a lot of people need guidance in trading in the global financial markets, all right? So shall we start? Shall we start? And which pair or which currency or which uh, products you want me to look first? Gold, right? Is it gold? Let's look at a gold, all right? Because gold is a very, very uh, tradable pair or tradable symbol, okay? And it can give us a lot of uh, good opportunities, okay? Just like what you see in the last week, okay? Uh, we have seen the gold, right? been doing this uh, inside bar here at 1304 to 1301, okay? This is inside bar and break down. So the moment it break down the low, you should enter a short. And now the gold has been, you know, waterfall, right? This is a waterfall. And today it breaks new low. So from 1304 to 1274, that is a beautiful 300 pips move for the gold. And we capture that from one simple inside the bar. Now, raise your hand, okay? Raise your hand or reply me by one, okay? If you haven't understand what is inside the bar. Okay, who hasn't mastered inside the bar strategy? Okay, reply me by one, right? Okay, I see Hayden, Ferenc, Yasser's five ping. Don't know what is inside the bar yet, all right? So the inside the bar strategy, I have been shared to my, <clears throat> you know, YouTube channel. You can find it in the Pro Trader. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you can find it in the playlist of New Trader Workshop, okay? To be easy, I have put the, this inside the bar strategy into the New Trader Workshop. All right, <clears throat> so you can just go to this playlist. All right, I will give you this playlist uh, address here. Okay, okay. So this is an inside bar tutorial for the, it's a one hour and 23 minutes. Okay, inside, what is inside the bar? Okay, so just uh, copy this playlist. Copy this, yes, this is open to everyone. And it is there for already, nine months right so you should be learned this nine months ago not now okay so let's go to go chart and we'll just to tells you uh what is an inside bar and what can we do now right so uh look at it here Our inside bar criteria looks like this okay first of all we have a very determined okay pay attention to my words determined candle okay in the first candle, we call it determined candle, or we call master candle or mother candle, right? <clears throat> and for, for those uh, audience, okay, for those people who are using handphones to join, all right, please remember to close your video cameras, right? 
okay the first candle okay is strong determined okay and uh, decisive okay first candle strong determined decisive okay <clears throat> second candle okay need to be within the previous candles high and low okay and please take note that we only compare we only compare this high to high and this low to low you get it if you get it please reply me by five we only compare second okay we only compare high to high and low to low okay inside the bar compare only high to high and low to low good all right and it must be within the previous candles high and previous candles low all right so basically inside bar telling you what guys let me ask you what is the trend when the candle formed the inside bar what is the trend yes you are right because the high is not higher high low is not lower low so basically means sideways right sideways not beginning it's sideways mean means that the, the market is is kind of uh, accumulating power accumulating the, the the momentum okay it's sideways good that is a correct answer okay sideways all right so let me ask you what will be the results after sideway after the sideway when sideway markets terminate will be a trending markets right okay is that right guys do you understand the logic sideways markets it will eventually becomes a trending markets eventually because the market cannot just stay there forever correct okay all right uh okay guys uh i'm i have to i have to clear some people because uh, my students is not inside okay so whoever didn't change name if you are still administrator I have to remove you out okay because my students are still outside waiting okay Ricky link close your video yeah please please do that all right okay okay good let's continue <clears throat> So a sideway market eventually will become trending markets. And what is a, what is a sign of trending markets? Guys. What is a, what is a, the sign of a trending markets? You are right, Joe. Okay? Very nice answer a new high a higher high or lower low right no not that you is my students okay what is the sign of trending markets higher high or lower low so therefore this the strategy of inside bar is very simple okay we measure the high of the inside bar the low of the inside bar and we are ready to pull the trigger when it breaks up or breaks down okay so the moment it breaks here the lower low guys can we say it since it breaks a low of the previous candles low can we say a lower low was created do you agree with me if the candle the third candle breaks down the low of the inside the bar can we say a lower low is created 
If the candle breaks up of the previous high, can we say a higher high was created? The moment it break. Okay, sure, Ferenc. Okay, good. So yeah. You, uh, you can watch okay for for those who missed the the video or you have something to go outside to handle with okay please just uh, uh leave by yourself all right i will put the recordings to the youtube anyway okay you can you can see it in the uh after 30 minutes when i uh, finish this webinar all right so don't worry okay bye bye Farron. bye bye yeah all right so when the inside bar was break the high or the low, we believe that, that this is a sign of trending markets. Can I say that? Because we all agree trending markets, trending markets must have a higher high or, high or lower low, right? And do we need to wait for the candle to close? Do we need to wait? No. Okay, because inside the bar, we don't wait. We want to pull the trigger when there is a breakout. All right, so this is a price action strategy that called inside bar and we try the breakout. Okay, so in this case, if the inside bar breaks down, the moment it actually breaks lower low, you sell here. Okay, sell the break down. All right, sell here. The moment you see it is a break up you can consider to buy the break up all right and where's your stop loss yeah what happens if the inside bar breaks down and then comes back and breaks up well unfortunately you are triggered as stop loss you just exit the trade we have a stop loss to protect our account all right, so your stop loss should be somewhere, you know, above the here or somewhere below the low, right? Okay, this is stop loss. If you trade a bullish here, if you trade a bullish here, your stop loss should be the below the inside bar here. If you trade a sell here like this, if you trade a sell here, you know, okay, I make this as a blue color, right? Your stop loss should be the blue one. Okay, so I have already told this many times, all right? You sell the breakdown and you put your stop loss the other side, the other side, okay? How about when the market keeps making higher high and still lower low, but within the inside bar, like spending wedge, like five bars in a row? No, that's not inside the bar, Joe. If the markets are making higher high, for example, here, like what, what, you are, what you are saying is if the market is doing this, right? Okay, and there is already a breakout of the previous inside bar. So you should just pull the trigger and stop loss there. Okay, and even it hit your stop loss, just exit the trade. Okay, we don't want the market to move like this. We don't want the market to move like, to behave like this, comes down and breaks new high. Okay, and then comes down again. We don't want to take this kind of trade right all we want to do is to take this kind of trade is boom there's a big red candle okay a market is red okay a red candle a strong move down okay followed by a small candle okay be it a, a green or red one doesn't matter and the third one when it breaks down boom right here you go, trigger the, your entry, trigger your entry, just sell it, stop loss, put the other way here, okay? And boom, boom, it hits, give you one to two or one to three risk reward ratio. We want to capture this kind of trades. Understand or not? There are a lot of movement in the market, right? But we don't want to trade all of them. We only want to trade this. We only want to trade this. We want to trade a smooth, beautiful four after our inside bar. All right. So this is very important. All right. So let's just go to gold. All right. Today it has given you uh, gold just performed a very, very nice inside bar in one hour chart. Okay. Let's just find it. All right. Let, let's just find it. Where is it? 
Okay, here. Here it is. Okay, so let me just put here. Okay. All right. So we know that in last Friday, in last Friday, gold moved significantly here, right? From 1,300 to 1,275. Does anyone agree that this is a great decisive move? Do you? Is this move very significant? Tells you the trend or not? Yes. Why? Because it breaks new low, right? It breaks 1,282 breaks the last time the gold a very very strong reversal point okay here we see a lot of uh, buyers here and the price comes up goes up and range sideways and then they move down very dramatically and this move let me just ask you did this move breaks previous high previous low sorry did it breaks previous low yes so it already tells you that the gold has making a lower low in last Friday, making a lower low trend, trend comes, right? And all you need to do is you just wait for the signal, wait the market to correct because after a strong move down, there's normally there'll be a correction. The market need to rest, all right? And now, okay, check the time. Okay, this is another tip for you guys. Guys, can you tell me what is the time when the market goes down again? I repeat, okay, please choose computer audio device, okay, when you join the meeting, okay, otherwise you will cannot, you cannot hear any sound, All right? So, can you tell me what is the time when this beautiful bearish candle formed? Anyone? Can you see my screen? Uh, by the way, I'm using... I'm using the GMAT plus eight because I live in Singapore, right? Time scale, you can see my time zone. My time zone is at Hong Kong, China, Shanghai, Singapore, okay? Two, yes, it's 2 p.m. And 2 p.m., what session is that? Okay, here I touch a little bit about the session. So Asia session normally comes from 6 a.m., GM80 plus 8, okay, 2, all right, 16 a.m., all right, and Euro session, okay, 16 a.m. is London opening, right, 16, sorry, 16 p.m., that is p.m., all right, 16 p.m. to like maybe 22 p.m., something like that, right, and the U.S. session, which will be about, you know, like 20 p.m. to the next day, like 2 a.m. All right, good. So, now, tell me, you see a breakdown, or you see a very strong move down in the end of Asia session before the Euro session. Okay, and what you should do when the London market is open? Do we need to trade? Do we need to? Do we need to sell? You know, do we need to chase the price? Can we chase the price after the candle closing? Like you want to sell from one to eighty, or you want to see what we have in the London session? What 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 will the markets do? Yes, we have to wait, right? So pay attention to London set, London, Euro session, all right? Pay attention to Euro session and the US session. Okay, this is my device. Why? Why? All right, let me just put it at maybe 14. No, not wallet. That, that, that's not volatility because of, right? Because what? Because money. Money flows in, right? When when under market open, a lot of traders comes in and buy and sell, right? There will be money and orders, okay? Orders come in, okay? More in these two session, not in the Asia session. 
Yes, limited liquidity. Orders, okay? So we check the next candle, guys. Okay, just follow me, just follow me, all right? Boom, okay, this is a pullback. Happened on 15 p.m. So the next candle open will be the London opening, right? And do we see a inside bar here? Is this considered as inside bar? Is this considered as inside bar? A mother bar formed by an inside bar, the high to the high, the low to the low, right? It's inside. Yes, okay. Nice. And upon till this stage, what you should do? What you should do now if you see an inside bar just formed? What is the first step you're going to do? Okay, Joe said, wait for break up or break down. Plan for two, sell, stop, create order. Okay, no, you're wrong, guys. You're all wrong. The, the, the immediate step you're going to do is, okay, listen to, listen to me carefully. The next thing you're going to do is to mark the high and mark the low, right? If you never pull this two line, how are you going to know which one is broken? Okay, so the immediate step after you see the inside about always make this habit. Okay, use the tools in the trading view called horizontal ray. Okay, mark it. Get it? Always mark the high and mark the low. Now, reply me, reply me by six if you understand. I'm telling you the practical exercise for every inside bar. You have to draw the two lines. You don't just watch it, you know, by your eyes. And, ah, is it broken or not? No, no, not yet. You have to know the specific numbers, right? Don't we? We have to know what number is it to tell me it is breakdown or break up. Good. So after this candle formed, you immediately draw the two lines. Can I mute this chat on, on mobile? What do you mean? Uh, you can. You can. You can just close. You can just close it. You can just watch my screen. It's up to you. All right. Okay. Good. So now let's watch the next candle. Wow. So this one. Wow. What? What is this? Did the candle breaks up? Touch my. You know. Touch my brown color line for a buy signal or did the candle touch a little bit of the blue candle it looks like it touched a little bit right but this is too you know it's too <clears throat> the, this it's not so significant right it's not that actually giving you a sell sign so i would like to treat this as the, as a what as the inside bar after inside bar generally speaking right so this the third candle can I say that it's still within the previous one? Just break it down a little bit, a very tiny little bit, right? Just like few cents, you know, from 67 to 60. It, it, it is not considered as, uh, as uh, high as a uh, spread. Yeah. So uh, can I say this is still, the market is still now waiting for directions? Can I say that? Hello? Hey, Guo Hui. Hey. Hey, 不好意思，我现在在上课，我等下再跟你聊，好吧 ？Thank you. All right. So, are we still going to look at the trade or now? Are we still waiting, guys? Are you still in the in your computer to wait for the trigger? Yes, just wait. Wait for another hour, right? So from from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., nothing happens, right? But you have to be patient, just like a sniper, right? Sniper, sniper, okay? Just tell you, you are a sniper. We are waiting for the trigger, okay? Okay, now, this one, all right? The movement is significant enough to tell me, well, it really breaks new low, right? It really breaks new low, correct? So, where's our plan? What is our plan, guys? Our plan... Our trading plan is, okay, sell at 
1279.67 all right we maybe we'll sell at 1279 point you know 59 or 60 okay we sell at 1279.60 stop loss okay let me just ask where's our stop loss what are the tips for stop loss putting We should be above the inside bars high, right? Which is 1282.67. Now, let me just ask you, what is the time frame for this one hour? Oh, sorry, what is time frame for this inside bar? It is one hour candle, right? So always remember, for all for one hour charts, all right, your stop loss should be, you know, at least 10 pips, okay? 10 pips away from the other side of inside the bar which is 1282.61 plus 10 pips which is plus 0 0.1 okay and and remember for sale orders okay please plus what for sale orders do we need to plus the spread This is tips for the stop loss for sell orders. So you understand what are the pricing in the charts because these are called sell price. Okay. When gold is at 1282.61, means that if you sell, you can get at 1282.61, but when you buy, you can only get at 1262.61 plus the spread. Can I explain 10 pips again? Okay, it's very simple for gold. Okay, for gold, right? Just remember that, okay? One dollar movement equals to what? One hundred pips. Okay, so zero point one dollar movement equals to zero point one. Oh, sorry, will be ten pips. Uh, pips means are uh, <coughs> one over one hundred one uh, one over ten thousand. Okay, and one pips value. One pips value for gold is ten dollar for one lot. How much pips for is for BTC? I don't know. I don't care. BTC, you just treat it, just treat it like as stock. BTC, you just treat it as a stock because you buy one BTC at a time. So if BTC move one dollar, you earn one dollar. If BTC moves one hundred, you earn one hundred. Just treat it as stock. How many stocks you have and how much, how much dollar you move, you gain, right? And how much you earn. No, you don't use ATR, no need. In this case, we don't need to use ATR because inside the bar already give you the range. You know very, very, very clearly when you are going to stop, right? So gold, normally for the spread is about, you know, 30 to 50 pips. Which means here, I need to plus another 0 0.3. And so 1282.61 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 equals to 1 to, you know, 83 point. Okay, 1283 point. What? 01, right? Am I right? Okay, good. So let's just mark 1283.01 is here. Okay, you can set the stop loss here. Boom. Okay, this is my stop loss. This is my actual stop loss. All right, which means I will allow the candle to go up to here, right? To prevent it, it just hit my stop loss and goes down, right? I give some breathing room, right? For this inside the bar. Okay, good. And my entry is at 1279.60. All right. Okay, so what is my risk? Guys, what is my risk?
my risk equals to my entry minus stop loss right distance which is 1279.60 okay minus minus 1283.01 which is 3.45 dollar okay 3.45 Okay, and if we trade one lot, how much you're going to lose? If we trade one lot and our stop loss of three point four five dollar, yes, because one lot equals to one hundred pounds, right? The time is three point four one, which means our risk is three hundred and forty one USD. Okay, let's say, let's say per trade we only risk $200 so question how many lot should I trade you see trading is not so not as easy as what you think right so many calculations and so many preparations right do you agree is trading so easy as what you think before like I just you know I just press buy or sell right and the money comes in no not that simple you have to calculate good so i use the, the the formula i can tell you right if one lot i will risk i will risk 341 i only want to risk 200 so my lot size will be 200 divided by 341 is my lot size calculate Okay, 0 0.5865. Okay, 0 0.5865. Okay, let me just take 0 0.58 lot as my correct lot size. Good. Now, you have to, guys, you have to prepare all this when it breaks down, you know? Webs ask in case gold when pullback is not to significant level like 68%, how does that inside bar is going to be taken? As I said, an inside bar doesn't happen always, all times, but you have to trade the inside bar when you see a momentum. We already seen a very strong momentum in last Friday, right? And we do see a strong fall, right? Compared to these previous candles, little candles, tiny candles, right? We already see a strong fall in 2 p.m. So do you, do you see there's a momentum that the buyer is losing? The buyer is losing the battle. The buyer is, you know, is fade away. Hey guys, you know, there's a one, one very beautiful song I, already, uh, I, I always love to listen it's called faded do you know what is faded by alan walker i love this song faded yeah it's like the buyer is faded the buyer is fading the buyer that you, you don't see a buyer comes in when when there's a very strong fall right yeah by alan walker so that do you see the buyer fading fade away yeah and the price pull back cannot break up cannot spread and breaks down okay so you have to, let me just highlight to you, have to prepare all this before it breaks down. In other words, okay, in other words, when you measure the inside bar breaking up or low, you should be immediately to calculate what are the loss size you are going to do, understand or not. And in this case, do you have enough time to, to calculate this? Yes, we do. We have one hour. You have one hour to calculate this, right? So the moment it breaks 1 to 79.60, boom, 0 0.58 out of yourself. Okay? You have to be fast. You have to be accurate. Okay? So you sell this 0 0.58 lot here. Okay? Sold 0 0.58 lot. Here, immediately after the breakdown, <clears throat> put your stop as a one twenty three. Now, where's our TP? 
<clears throat> where's our TP? Very simple. According to the rules, right? You should know what is your risk. It's a three point four one dollar. Okay, so we are expecting at least one to one risk reward ratio. Our TP one is <clears throat> three point four one dollar. Our TP two is six point. Let me just use. 3.4 and 6.8 and TP3 will be three times of 3.4, right? Which is 10.2, right? Am I right? I'm risking three and forty dollar. This is my risk. Okay. I'm in expecting a gain of at least one to one. One to three, one to two, at least, and perhaps one to three. All right, good. And now, after you open the trade, you already open the trade here, right? Do you need to be panic? Ah, it's going down or not? Guys, right? do you need to be panic? Boom, goes down. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Or if, it, if the market goes against you, oh, no, 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 I'm panicking, I'm so, you know, why, why did the inside bar fail? Oh, my God, it's going to hit my stop loss. Wow, oh my God, should I, should I leave it or not? Where are you, Jack? Come, come, tell me, should I hold the position or not? Do you need to worry about that? No, you have your plan. You're just trading the plan. Trading the plan that you already, you know, made before it triggered. Right? No emotion. Just act as a killer. No emotion. Okay? You know, guys, in, in casino, in casino, right? <clears throat> right? In casino, there is a person named what? Dealer. Okay, so will the dealer be panic if the dealer lose money? Will the dealer be happy when it takes your money? No, because when he lose is casino's money, right? When he win, right? When the client lose money is not his. Is he not, it doesn't go to his account. He has no emotion. He just followed the rules, right? You win, he give you money. You lose, he just take your money away. Dealer. No, dealer doesn't care whether he wins or not. Dealer just follow the rules because dealer just going to get paid a basic salary plus some tips if the client wins, right? Yeah, he get it. He, he really get a tip, yeah. But when he when he took the plan, when he takes your tip away or gives the tips to you, does he has any emotion? No. Oh. He cannot just don't give you tip if you win by you know, by luck. He cannot just, you know, doesn't pay you when when you win or doesn't take away your tip, your <coughs> your money when you lose. He just, just carry the trade, just follow the plans. So we must work. just trade, trade like a dealer, okay? No emotion. Don't let your emotion kill your trading plan. All right? Your biggest enemy of your trading plan is yourself. How, okay, guys, let me just conduct a survey. How many of you have ever canceled your trade or, or closed your trade just because you think it may hit your stop loss? How many of you have never take a trade of one to two risk reward ratio and you just, you know, earn so little and you just go? You know you should hold two here, one to 74, but you just, you know, ah, finally I win. Let me just go. Let me just take out the money. You all have done that, right? And what is your trading results for that inconsistent behavior? What is your trading results? Every time when you win, you win big or, we, or you win small? And what's your feeling? 
What is your emotion? Do you feel good or feel bad? Oh my shit! Why should I close the trade so early? Oh shit! I shouldn't, you know, leave the. I shouldn't take the trade. I should just, you know, let it. I just. I should just hold. It never hit my stop loss, but I just scared. I'm so scared. Oh shit! I didn't trade zero point five million. I traded five loss. Now I trade too much. I'm so worried about my account. It may blow up anyway. A lot of shit comes in your head, right? And do you like that kind of person? Do you like that kind of dealer? If you're hiring him to execute your plan, do you like it? Do you, or are you going to continue to employ him? Are you going to fire him? If you pay him to, you know, carry out your trading plan, but he never did. He just traded emotion. Oh my God, I'm, I'm earning money. Let's just take it. Oh, I'm going to stop us. Let me just, you know, save some money. Yeah, you should just, you should just fire it. Fire him. <laughs> I'm not going to let him get past probation. Yes, you're right, Jonathan. Right? But if the dealer is yourself, what are you going to do with yourself? Are you going to kill yourself? Are you going to slap your, slap your mouth? Or are you going to swear to the God? Hey, God, I swear, next time I will follow my plan. But unfortunately, right, next time you still forget what you say. This is what we call discipline, okay? Guys, discipline comes here. Okay, a lot of traders failed in this stage. A lot of traders, 90%. Yeah, and uh, I, you ask him to be a customer. Yes, that would be a perfect customer. Discipline, you'd have to be work as a dealer. You don't be emotionally controlled by this floating loss or profit, right? And if you trade the plan, okay, let's watch what happened, okay? Hmm, what's here now? Is it interesting? Is this interesting? Right? That's another inside bar, right? <laughs> yeah? So are you going to worry about that? No, just follow the plan. But if you miss the first inside bar, can you trade the second inside bar when it breaks down of this candle? Can you still find another trader here? Just be ready when it boom goes down again. If you're already in the first inside, but you don't need to treat, treat, uh, trade the second one because it's the same pair. Okay, it's the same pair, right? Hello? Hey, Guo Hui. Hey, hey, I know. I know. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, bye bye. Okay, if you don't have any trade right now, you can prepare to trade the second inside bar breakdown. If you already have one, okay, you don't need to trade this second one, all right? Okay, good. And wow, here it comes. No, not girls, it's a guy. Okay, should we clap for this inside bar trade? Where's your, where's your applause? Where's your... Claps. You trade the plan, 0 0.78, 0 0.58 lot, boom, boom, right directly hit your target. Right? TP2 already hit. <clears throat> In just one hour, you enjoy the waterfall of gold and you just have this $6.8 move and you win 400 here. Should you take some profit? Should you take some profit now? Oh, you can, mm, I'm greedy, I want to hold. It will go down again. A lot of you guys will be in this kind of trouble. Yeah, wow. That's a very fruitful profit, around $400 in my pocket, right? But believe me, if you don't close partial profit, that is not a profit, that's paper money. That is a paper floating profit, you know? You should take some profit right now. You should close, okay? The, the correct thing, the right thing is you should close at least 0.3 lot here. Why? Because you trade 0.58 lot, right? You take half, okay? Close at 0.3 lot here. Move the stop loss to break even. <coughs> Yeah, 
No, I don't need to enter two times 0 0.29 lot. There's a function called take partial profit in MetaTrader 4. You can control the lot size you want to take profit with. You can just edit the amount and, you know, and just close it by yourself. All right, but if you open two times 0 0.29 lots, it will be easier for you to set a limit order for you. Okay, if you trade, if you take partial profit, you have to take it manually. All right, that's the main difference. All right, good. And here, here we go. <clears throat> now, where's the gold? A gold, you know? After he hit the second target, reversed a lot, right? Reverse a lot. Yeah? So, is that wise to take the trade? To take the profit? Take some profit? Okay, and here, just now, when I, just now, when I, at the beginning of my webinar, did you guys see I put a very nice horizontal line here? Did you guys see that line? In my beginning of my webinar, I put a line here, 1276.37, if you come very early. <clears throat> and what does this line mean? What does this line mean? Can I say this is a very strong supporting area before the gold penetrated here? Supporting, 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 right? Break down and pull back. And what is your what is your what is your mindset here? Can we sell the pullback here? Can we take a sell off here? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Why not? Break out, pull back, and you should, you, should, you should sell here, right? So imagine you sell another 0 0.3. Can we sell the, the closed 0 0.3 lots here for pull back? Can I sell again? Answer me. Can I sell here? I take profit here. I wait for the price, pull back here, and I sell again. And now I win double two times, right? I win another, you know, $3 move. Easy money, isn't it? And what if it breaks down continuously? Wow, it just make you just be happy, right? Yeah, you can use limit orders. Up to you. But if you are with computer, you can just watch by yourself. Right, limit orders only happen when you are out of the market, when you are away from your desktop, when you are outside, when you are playing with some people else, when you are doing some carrying some other activities, we are not unavailable to watch the market. You use limit orders, otherwise, you just manually go inside. All right, and I can tell it's very, very high likely to go to one to 60. You are right, Hayden. Okay, end of this inside about tutorial. So now, raise your hands. Have you guys understand inside bar strategy? This is a very, very detailed inside about tutorial. I do hope that after 15 minutes, we have, you know, gone through a complete inside bar tutorial. And next time when you see inside bar, you know what you are going to do. What dollars will be here for the pullback trade? Of course, above the strong candle, above the breaking out candle, which is here above 1279, right? Easy, easy questions. Okay, so next question will be something about, you know, Multiple time frame, right? All right, here, here it is. Multiple time frame. All right, this is actually for advanced traders. Okay, 
because for new traders, the first stage you are going to do is to build up your trading system to know what is what you're going to do, what's your signal for buy, what's your you know trading plans, you know, something like that. For multiple time frame, first of all, okay, we always use top down approach, top down approach, which tells you you ex you should check you should check from weekly to daily to four hour to one hour to 30 minutes and to lower time frame right doesn't mean that you need to go to all of the frame right my my suggestion is shift minus square what's that What's that? What's that short short? Shift to square. Can you tell me what is square? Uh-huh. Guys, anyone can tell me what is this shift? That is shift minus square or what? Anyone try this before? I can say this is a shortcut, right? yeah looks useful but I, i'm not sure what how you shift minus square what's that uh-huh like this no. no 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 it's not going to never mind okay let me just uh, continue right my suggestion is for multiple time frames right okay pick pick any of above time frames close to each other okay pick two of the above time close to each other okay pick any two of them you hold shift and then make a perfect square is it no that's not true that's this kind of thing You mean when I draw it, I make a shift. Oh yeah, I get it. I get it. What do you mean? A uh, uh, square. <laughs> okay, okay. A perfect square, right? Not rectangular, right? Thank you, Joe. Okay, pick two of these above time frames close to each other, which means you just pick any two of them. You can pick, for example, you can pick weekly plus daily. You can pick four hour plus one hour. You can pick thirty minutes to five minutes, right? Pick any of them as long as it's close to each other. No, any of them close to each other. Pick any two that is close to each other. Either these two or these two. Okay, or these two. Or these two. Or these two. Okay? You get what I mean? Okay. So, the higher time frame is for you to determine the trend. The lower time frame is for you to find trade setups. Are we clear? For example, if you see a four hour uptrend, and right now you are here right now you are somewhere here okay you should go to one hour chart to see where is the potential buying opportunities inside the previous uptrend move find setups okay let me just give you an example okay uh, we go back to gold uh, by the way our let me take some profits. Okay, good. Yeah. 
plus I I have some short from the pullback, right? And now comes down a three dollar move. I should take some prof profits, right? Okay, so good. Okay, in daily chart, guys, what is the trend? What is the trend in daily chart? It's down, right? Because look at here the gold from the one three sixty five. Okay, comes here, pulls back. Okay, lower high, lower low, lower high, and lower low. Right? It's this is downtrend. And you go to four hour chart to do what? To find the pullback to short. Am I right? Am I right? You go to four hour to see where well, can I short? I can short here or I can short here. Okay, use some method, whatever method. Okay, and we do see a very nice pullback here. Did you see that? Is this very similar to what happened just now as here? Do you see this as the same patterns? An, an area that previously acting as support is being broken and being retested. And did, should you sell from here? Can you should take a shot of the pullback shot from here, 1283? If you take short bone, you make money, right? If you go to one hour chart, if you don't have this inside bar goes down, you take a shot of this structure breaking out pullback, you should sell here, you also make money, right? All right, so that is a smaller, a lower time frame will give you a better entry because you look more candles right a four hour candle is equals to four of one hour candle you, you look for more candles and see whether there are some set, uh, setups and you go to see here one hour chart you can see this oh i can soar inside the bar breaking down and you take the trade and you know the trace moves in the same direction of the daily charts it is co operates with the daily charts trend that's why your one hour inside bar breakdown is so successful. You get it? Your lower time frames trade should be in line with your higher time frames trend. That will give you better profits, less stop loss, and higher chance of win. Now, go back to gold. Gold falls so hard, right? It may test this area of 1 to 60. It's very easy to go into here. And it even tests here of 1 to 44, right? These two levels are, support, are supporting level. It may just go to here and here and if 1240 is broken is go to 1204 and even 12000 1200 all right because in weekly chart we found gold is very very bearish why because this weekly channel has been broken right you see that An almost one year uptrend channel being just broken. What does this tell you guys? One year, the gold have a one year ready, right? Pushed so many times of 1356, 1360, cannot break new high, and finally it breaks down the channel. It may all the way, I tell you, it will all the way goes to here. Very, very likely to go to here. Because this is a correction. This will be the main force here. It may even go for this ABCD patterns, you know. So, let's just capture any selling opportunities here to enjoy the potential move down all right this is my advice for you okay
find any bearish patterns, bearish setups, because this is a weekly chart. My weekly direction is like this. Okay, you're short. You know, it may give you this kind of money. All right, good. Let's talk about oil. Hey, oil. Oil, we have a nice short, right? Remember, we have short, in my webinar, I say we can short the pullback here, and I say we can short the pullback at here. Do you remember last Wednesday? I said we can short at a 66.67, somewhere here, right? And I say it has this correction channel, right? It breaks down, wow, beautiful move. And where does it pull back to? Look left, structure. Structure, previous support, now become resistance, right? You sell here, boom, splendid. Yeah, easy money. Easy money only if you understand structure, right? Hello, Doen. You're from Myanmar or Vietnam, uh, if I'm not wrong. Yes, very nice, KY. That's very good observation. 618, right? Very nice observation. Yes, 618 plus structure. Wow. At some points, this from triple A trade now become quarter A trades, right? Or five A trades. You took it yesterday. Haha, <laughs> right? Yeah, you earn. 130 pips, congratulations. You see, all my students after learning my course, you know, understand the logic behind the trade and understand how to take the trade. But that's the best part, right? That's the best part. You can see in my WhatsApp students group, all right? Let me just ask, let me just to, uh, give you the sharing, right? You can see my WhatsApp students group, right? So many people are discussing the trade every day they find good setups you see here Vipo did very good job right 15 minutes inside the bar right so end up very very nice and people just you know get improved every day every day you improve a little bit and after one year after two years wow you become pro right am I right to say that you cannot be a professional trader in just one day. You have to keep practice and learning. But with the times accumulation, with the effort that every day you progress a little bit, this tiny little accumulation will let you become a professional trader in some day, somehow, somewhere. Right? That's the power of time. Okay, so my advice is stop trading randomly. Stop trading like, uh, you know, novice trader. Okay, you must think, why should I do this trade? How can I do this trade? Where's my entry? Where's my stop loss? Where's my market? Is the risk reward ratio above one to one or one to two? Can I take some profit here, right? You should, you should, you should really learn all this stuff. Otherwise, you're just, you know, panic. Hmm, sir, what do you think of gold? Up or down? <laughs> you can see every day, every day people ask me this kind of questions. Right? What is your view? See? Well, I don't understand your analysis on, on sterling dollar. Is it still going down? I say, well, 1.2850. Thank you. Every day people come here to ask me these kind of questions. And and why should you do that? Why should you rely on someone else, not yourself? Because ultimately, it's, it is your own account, right? You are the person who are responsible for, for this account only. Not me, nor somebody else, not the EAs, not the robots, right? You have to understand what is trading. No people can replace you. Do you agree? All right, so 
Okay, let me just quickly go through all the pairs, right? For the for the oil, all right, I will say the strong bearish trend just begin, right? Bearish trend breaks down trend line, pulls back, comes down again, and in the daily chart, we can see this kind of a bearish flag, right? This bear bear flag, right? If the breaks down new low, it just tells you you continue moves down, right? So just hold your shorts, hold your shorts. If break new low, break pull back, you should sell again, right? Because it may just go to 61 or 60 or even goes to 52, you know? It's very high likely for the oil to go to this level because the strong uptrend just gone. Okay, but of course we have to measure, take, you know, some profit of the 62 level and the 60 level, right? These two levels are some supporting, but when supporting level meets bearish trend, it just, you know, continue goes down. Okay. No, so now let's go to Euro. The Euro has a pullback in the last week, but you know, after Teraki speaking, it just uh, retest 1.1850, retest the structure and goes down again. And how many of you guys read my post in trading view how many of you read my post here when i say we can short euro because we see a long pin bar here and uh, you know engulfing can you just take the short come on this is free money for you because teraki already told you the ecb is not going to increase rate until you don't know where until maybe next year's third quarter, right? And what's the interest difference between the euro and the dollar? A lot. So the money which just goes into US market, not, nobody wants to hold the euro. So low the interest. And you don't give us any hope of increasing, right? I should just continue borrowing euro and you know buy any USA stocks, carry trade, right? Just free money. And if you are good enough to find the pin bar, right? Do you see the pin bar in five minutes? Is this a pin bar here, guys? What I did, I told you this pin bar, after the pin bar closed, you should just take sell, stop loss above the pin, and enjoy the returns. Is this good money? Easy money, 1.1780 to 1.1440. Easy money after pin bar. Just apply the knowledge. You should just take the short. What's the difference between support resistance and the supply demand zone? It's actually there are there are some difference because supply and demand is the cause, is the reason. Support resistance is the performance you can say because this is a supply zone that's why we can see it is a resistance after the price hits in and go inside it has to be a supply zone for a good resistance but a resistance that has been tested many times doesn't mean that it may hold in the future okay so supply and demand is the final, this ultimate reason for the price to be supported or resist, reject at a certain levels. All right? Good. So Euro, okay, no much, it's actually, it's going to test the previous low because in daily chart, it looks like there's some support from 1.15, some support from here, true, okay? This level is again, it's not a very good support because it is not in a very good location. I will consider to buy euro if only if euro goes to here 1.08 low enough. This is midway, okay? So it's very likely for the euro just remember what my words okay if you see the euro just consolidating at 1.15 so after several consolidation boom it will go down 
Okay. Are we good? All right. Move to Sterling. Sterling. Okay. Still very bearish. Just hold your short. Hold your short. Sterling will all the way goes to zero point six one eight, I believe. Okay. In weekly chart, it goes to one point two eight forty nine. Goes to here. And starting today, just breaks new low. So, and do you find an interesting patterns, a familiar pat, a familiar patterns of go of starting? What's this? <laughs> What's this? Yes, inside the bar. And if you trade this inside bar, inside the bar, are you making money? Are you ha are you happy now? Wow gives you very good returns right it's already one to one maybe one to two right yes right and for sterling there is a gap on monday right if you read my post of gap you know how to trade the gap a gap right gap formed when you field you take a trade here right Gap, field, take trade here, or take trade here, boom, money. All right, so that's all very good trade. And for Aussie dollar, very nice trade is, what, 89 EMA plus the structure here. Okay, structure here, 89 EMA. If you short from 0 0.76, 50, wow. 300 pips okay so Aussie dollar continue for because I don't see a very good support here and a weekly neckline is formed okay <clears throat> the, the weekly very strong structure you know just breaks new low all right so if there's any pullback short the pullback short the pullback understand for Aussie dollar, short the pullback. Kiwi, same thing, same thing. Okay, I can tell you guys, I'm still holding the 0 0.7323 trade. If you're still holding this, God, you you just you know, earn so much. Okay, you earn so much. You see that 0 0.73, now it's 0 0.68, 500 pips. Dollar cat, that's what I said. Continue moves up. Now, who is in the pool of dollar Canadian? Give me your hand. I, I mentioned many times, I said dollar cat goes up. All the way to 1.34 or even 1.38 because this is a strong reversal, strong bottom sign. Right? I mentioned that the 89 EMA is supporting the dollar cat very well. Right? And if you still remember in my trading view, okay, now for this trade, 1.24 trade, guys, it's going to hit the second target okay let me just update this okay no people believe that when i post a trade it's just a so beautiful you know two six one eight trade a wedge broken a wedge broken trade right after this okay how many pips 1.2388 now it's 1.3288 wow Wow. Two, three, thirty-two, almost one thousand pips, right? Great. Did you did you make some money from this trade? Raise your hands. And again, there's a very good trade of dollar sin. Who take the dollar sin trade? For Singapore students, you should all take the trade because I have published in May the 3rd and I told you guys you goes up to there, 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 and there, right?
Mm-hmm. 1.33, 1.3, 280 pips. Very nice. Move and uptrend which just continue. Okay. So just hold your allowance. The dollar will be unstoppable. Okay, unstoppable. Any other questions? No questions are right. remember some people ask me to check for BTC, right? Okay, BTC. Okay, just tells you guys, okay, the strong supporting is here. It's actually created by the previous demand zone here. Okay, demand zone, a drop base rally. Okay, so as long as 60,200 is supported, all right, you can still buy this. And the typically when it breaks down the trend line, you will see either it breaks up or it breaks down the demand zone. So our main task is to watch the 6,000 level, whether it can hold or not. If not, it will just continue to fall. If yes, a big strong rally will come. Can ask thousands and an SPX. All right. Um, for Joe, I have noticed that you like to trade SPX. May I know the reason? Why you want to focus on these indices? Very active. Mm, not really. Not really. Compared with gold, they are not so active you know you can see the daily charts the movement is quite slow and very you know choppy very choppy up and down up and down up and down unless you want to go to intraday trade right intraday trade there are a lot of opportunities right intraday trade then you should just focus on you know only the u.s time session for the smp don't even bother to look at it when it's in the global session we, we call you know global time don't trade it you're not using it for swing trade trust me okay smp as i said last time i said this neckline okay who remember I, what i say here 2778 who remember the neckline here anyone and i say we can sell it here right And your your target should be somewhere here, right? Some here, somewhere here of this previous high now becomes support, right? And you earn some pips, like five hundred pips. Yes, that's good. But the the one thing that I don't like S and P is, it's very very correlated with uh, USA stocks market, and you have to do a lot of studies. You really have to do a lot of studies of U.S. stock markets especially for the financial reports comes out okay pay attention to the whole market sentiment like is a bullish market or bearish market people are you know coming inside to buy stocks or sell stocks right and there are some patterns for example here right i remember joe you asked me whether this is a two six one eight trade do you remember i remember you ask me whether this is a 2618 trade, and, and my answer is yes. This is a 2618 trade, and it works very well. Right? Although the second high is a little bit higher, but it did break down the neckline, the neckline, which is the same area of the previous neckline, and you use the 618 trade to measure 618, right? It goes to 27. 81 you take a sell here okay take a sell here stop loss above the pin right boom nice two profits and you should take some profit when you hit 2740 because now in four hour chart there's an inside bar breaks up it may go to here the neckline here and get ready to short get ready to short the market pulls back to here Yes, Emma, I do say this. Yeah, two three this, two three thirty five somewhere here. 
because that is a, that is a previous resistance now become support and we do see an inside of a break up right but this long you should just hold to here 2760 uh, and you may consider to short it from 2760 okay would you please inform us in whatsapp when you publish it in trading view yes sir uh no need because if you follow me my if you follow my trading view you should be just to receive the the the, the this kind of uh, you know uh this kind of uh, this you check your alerts here is TNT sunrise just publish blah, blah 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 and just click yeah you should be you receive from this alerts window yeah <clears throat> always keep your trading view active right in my in my uh, every day I, I would just keep one window a uh, training view so that every time when there are people you know talking to me or sending me some ideas I would just you know I've just uh, know what I should do. Yeah, but I'm too busy. I, I may not, I may not see all of the messages, right? So try not to send message me from Trading View. But you can use Trading View to check the, check the updates here. Okay, for ETC, right? Very nice ready base drop form that said we can long from $12 right very nice ready and now you should take some profit and enjoy the rest and there guys did you see your inside bar here is this a good inside bar for ethereum classic a strong mother bar inside the bar breaks up and you make money you see that? Can you explain Euro sterling or my uh, my advice is don't trade this currency pair of Euro sterling. Never trade it. Okay? Because they are hedging each other. They are just hedging each other. You see, so that's why it's just sideways, all the ways, sideways. Because when you buy euro and short sterling at the same time, if euro goes up, your euro position is in money and your sterling position is out of money. And they just cancel each other. So my advice, do not trade euro sterling unless it goes into a very, very low location like this, unless it's here or here. Okay? Otherwise, don't trade. Stop trading this. You're not getting any goods for this pair. No, spread low is not important. You want to capture the trend. You want to capture this trend. And you, you can, uh, let me just compare to you, okay? Let me just ask you, and you will see the difference. See, this, these are the three, three charts, right? Okay, see here. Sterling falls from 1.43 to 1.31. Right, 1,300 pips move. If you short sterling, you earn 10,000 for one lot, right? At least 13K. For Euro, drop from 1.24 to 1.15, 900 pips. If you short one lot, you earn 9,000 US dollar. But if you trade Euro sterling, how much do you get? Even I say you're right, you, you long Euro sterling and you get 0 0.8650 to 0 0.8783. You only earn 200 pips. So what's your choice? You want to trade this or you want to trade sterling dollar only or euro dollar only? What's your choice? Definitely, I won't trade this, this kind of a lousy pair because it just kill each other. I will trade this, I will take these 1,000 pips, I will take this 900 pips, 900 pips, right? If I trade them both, I win 1,900 pips. Remember, if I trade one sterling, one sterling short and I, I, I short one euro, I win plus 100 plus 900 pips, which is 1,900 pips. If you trade the cross pair, you only earn 200 pips, provided you are in a correct position.
which one is easier? Mm -hmm. Which one is easier when Euro study has trend, but Euro study is in sideways? So now do you see the reason? Right? So when the US dollar is in trending, don't trade cross pair. That's why I don't give you any advice such as, you know, Euro Aussie, you know, Euro Aussie, okay, or Sterling Aussie. Okay, you see Sterling Aussie have a very nice rally, right? But if you trade Aussie dollar, same, you get a very strong, very nice chart. Okay, the only pair, cross pair, I may say, is Sterling, the yen pairs, because yen pairs really moves very fast. And remember last Friday, I give you a, I give a idea of this structure breakdown and pullback trade, right? This works very nice. All right, NASDAQ, okay, NASDAQ is higher high in the, in a very high location, higher high because the, 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 the technology stocks are really performing well, but I will say don't buy, don't buy, right? Don't buy because it's kind of a, in a wedge, in a wedge and you don't know when they're going to fall down, right? But if you want to sell, I will say, yes, you can take the short of this inside bar. Did you know that? Is there an inside bar here? Mm -hmm. Answer me. The friend who asked me, asked me, Nasdaq, Nasdaq administrator, reply me. I'm talking to the products you are familiar with and you are asking me for my advice. Did you see this inside bar? I want to see your reply. If you never reply, I won't answer any questions from you again because you don't respect my answer i give you five seconds five four great okay and remember to change your name because am administrator is the uh, default name that joined my zoom meeting right i don't know who you are All right you can take this inside about breaks down. It really tells you that the bulls has gone, has lost the momentum and the, it may continue to fall. And it goes into four hour chart. I can tell you very, oh, okay. Four hour chart guys, NASDAQ. We have a, sh we have a great trading opportunities here. Sell NASDAQ now if you want. Okay because this is a neckline broken, pulling back, right? Sell now, stop loss above the previous high here. Right? In, and in four hour chart, there is another inside bar if you notice that. Is there an inside bar here? Guys, do you see an inside bar here? Answer me, inside bar. Right, if you take this inside bar, you can already, you already win three times of your risk, boom. That's that's end of the trade today. You just you know make a lot of money. Okay, so learn inside the bar, please. All right, everyone, you should learn inside the bar because I have taught you the correct way to trade inside the bar. I have demonstrate how to trade inside the bar, how to set the entry, stop loss, loss size, and target. Okay, if you want to sell Nasdaq, you can sell now. All right, DXY, why should I like DXY? DXY, just to hold your lungs. I'm buying DXY from here, remember? I'm buying from the triangles bottoms from 89. The DXY keep ready, goes to here at least 98.96. Please say again, Euro dollar, hold your short. But I can say, hold your short. Keep short in Euro. Keep find good. Just short Euro whenever it pulls back to 1.16. All right, good. This week, the Euro will be very, very hard to break 1.1620. If there's any chance, short here. Short, short, just short. Euro yen, Aussie yen, okay to trade. Yes, it's okay to trade Euro yen, Aussie yen. It's okay to trade. 
okay find patterns to trade right i'm bearish in all yen pairs i'm thinking euro yen will go down aussie yen will go down okay and sterling yen will go down dollar temporary support at dx 95 yeah support from 94.50 dxy already makes new high here so if the price pulls back to here just buy all right end of this webinar today i think i, ca I have covered a lot and i really hope you guys enjoy the webinar okay and i really want to highlight to you guys inside bar is very powerful learn it okay learn the inside bar and learn my course okay learn my course here i have already prepared everything to pass my trading system to you okay it is not easy you know because if you see a good trader he can trade well, but doesn't mean that he can teach you well. Do you agree? Because trading and teaching and education is not the same thing. It's not the same industry. Education, right? You know, it should be the university professors, your English teachers, your math teachers, right? Or your maybe personal coach of a fitness club, right? Or a teacher or an educator has the ability to pass the knowledge from his mind to your mind. Okay. I I have seen very funny funny things in trading view, you know. It's like uh Paul Tudors never published publish ideas in trading view, right? There therefore he said don't don't trust anybody here. Because all of because profitable traders won't be have will be so busy and no time to publish idea in trading view. And I say because yeah, they are not educators. They don't want to share. They are so busy making money, running their hedge funds. Why should they become a professional educator? Why should they? No. They are just living very well as a fund manager, as a good investor. And the God didn't tell them to become an educator, right? But here, the people sharing the ideas in TradingView, no matter who published the charts, they are, he's creating something. He wants to pass the knowledge or he wants to share something to the other people. And that, that's the part the education comes. Because if there's no sharing, there's no teaching, there's no guidance, right? How will other people benefit from it? And again, Another silly question comes in, right? Oh, things you are doing, doing education, you are doing sharing. Why don't you, why, why don't you give your course for free? All right? Do you see these kind of questions? Ah, you said you want to share to other people. You want, to, you want to teach other people how to fish, right? Why should you take charge? Why should you, you know, why not you put this on for free? And my question is, why should I put it for free? Do I owe you something? <laughs> right? Everything is fair in this world. I learned how to trade professionally, but you have to learn and you want to learn. And I, since I don't know you, you're not my friend, my buddy, why should I teach you for free? That's the first thing. Second thing, do you think really, do you really think that free stuffs are there for you to benefit? Ask yourself how many free videos, how many free webinars, how many free books you have read, and what is your trading results now? Free things you don't cherish. And you, you, you think it is free, it is so easy to get. And you won't spend a lot of time to study. All right? So again, all right, if you want to learn how to trade professionally in a system in a systematic way right my course is here for you right i will teach you all my 
knowledge here, our entire system here, okay, just as what I showed in the trading view. How do I get this kind of trade? Wow, 800 pips move, 900 pips move. And when I lose, I will only lose 30 pips, right? I already showed, do a lot of demonstration here. All right, so think of yourself, right? The best thing to invest is your own brain, right? It's your brain. Invest yourself first before you put money into this real trading world, right? End of story here. Okay, good. So, yeah, thanks all for coming. Plan your, plan your trade and trade your plan. Danny, okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Danny. I will go into upload the video recordings right after our meetings end. You're going to find it in the YouTube session. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.